He was a storyteller. He was an excellent storyteller. He could embroidery just very slight events. Uh, a trip to the grocery store would take on mythic proportions. And uh, if he stubbed his toe, it was, you know, he could make it into a drama. He was, he was, uh, he was a superb storyteller. Everyone that I've talked to who knew Lloyd, was a friend of Lloyd, was an associate of Lloyd, who mowed Lloyd's lawn, uh, they all tell me the same thing, just how kind and generous he was, uh, that he would take the time to stop his day, to spend as much time as you wanted with him to explain how to pronounce the names of the characters in the Pradane Chronicles, um, or to explain his process of writing, or to show you one of his little trinkets and tell you a story about it. Um, just that he was willing, um, as popular as he was, uh, to make that time for people. He was very much a people person, kind and generous. Lloyd is a man of routine. Um, he got up in the morning about three and then he'd work until about seven. And he did it because nobody would interfere with him and he could concentrate without interruption and he functioned well at that time. In fact, that's one of the things, he used to work until midnight on his writing when he had a job. And when he finally didn't have a job anymore, he shifted to the mornings and he'd get his work done. So by seven o'clock, his work day is over. First thing he does after his work day is make Janine breakfast and take it up to her and on a tray and give it to her in bed. He was very Socratic in that uh, he would ask questions, make suggestions, and people would be surprised to find that they would always agree with him in the end. It was very smoothly directed, and uh, you were never quite aware of what he was doing to you, but he was a master of this, and he could get you to do anything he wanted you to do. I knew him when he would be watching Xena Warrior Princess. Lloyd thoroughly enjoyed watching Xena Warrior Princess, and for his birthday, one of my friends, who was the uh, copy editor, production editor for Dutton at the time, got him a Xena Warrior Princess snow globe that played Bolero. He loved it. He loved it. She also got him one of those earrings that's, that's a magnet that you can clip to your ear. And he thought this was great too. Lloyd was game for, for, for many things. He, but he thought that stuff was pretty funny. Jim Jacobs and I uh, were visiting Lloyd one day in the spring and we were going to um, go in his 1972 uh, Nova to uh, the pizza place that they always go to to get some pizza for lunch. And uh, as we were preparing to leave the house and go out to the car, we noticed Lloyd, and it was a a warm spring day was putting on layers of clothing, <laughs> um, you know, a vest, a, a heavy coat, a stocking cap, a scarf, uh, which just was an indication, we realized this, though many other people wouldn't, that he was taking no chances with getting a chill and getting sick, you know, because even the weather was against him. So we got out in the car and we settled into this this, by this time, uh, almost a classic automobile uh, that he had bought new and they had purchased new and uh, had for all of these years and it had virtually no miles on it on top of that. And as he settled into the seat, um, Jim was in the front, I was in the back, and as he settled into the driver's seat, he said, oh, he took a breath, he says, I hope it's going to start. I just... I just hope it's going to start. And Jim said to him, well, have you been having trouble with it? And he says, no, it always starts right up, but there's always the first time. 